Okay, class, what is range? Okay, range is actually the difference between the largest and the smallest within the data set. Okay, so for ungrouped data, it's very simple. You just get the largest value, you minus with the smallest value, then that will be the range. Okay, now for grouped data, you need to be a bit careful. How to get the range under grouped data? Okay. First of all, you need to have the upper limit of the last class subtract with the lowest limit of the first class. Okay, and do remember, uh, it's given the interval of units over which all measurements will be four. Okay, range will ignore how data are distributed. Okay, this one you must be understand with it. Okay, so give you an example. Okay, let's look into this question. Okay, find the range of the number of visits for data set below. Okay, so tell me, what is the largest number here? Okay, what is the largest number? 112, right? So, you just write your range. Okay, you may just write your range. Okay, your range will be the maximum value. Okay, the maximum value minus with the minimum value. Okay, so for this maximum value will be will be hundred and uh one one two sorry. It will be one one two. Okay. So minus with what's the smallest value? Sixty. Okay. So you just use your calculator. Okay. So one one two minus with sixty. So that's why you have fifty two. Okay. So very direct question. If you have ungrouped data. Okay. So let's look into group data. Okay. So tables with those okay, so you will need to use this table to calculate the range. Okay. So first of all, look into this. Okay. What actually happened to the boundary? Okay. So as I always said, you highlight first. Okay. So from the highlight session it shows that you have the same value. If same value means that the boundary that have uh the upper limit and the lower limit that have no point five difference, right? Okay, so if that's the case, so how you're supposed to get the answer? Okay, uh, I put it 6, 70 here. Okay, but how actually you get the answer 70? Okay, so you will have your, you, you just write down, your range is actually the upper limit, upper limit of the last class minus your lower limit of the first class okay so what's your upper limit of the f your last class will be this one oops okay will be this okay 150 okay so you will have 150 okay minus with what is your lower limit of the first class okay so will be this 80 okay so will be 80 so 150 minus 80 150 minus 80 you have 70 that's why you have 70 okay very straightforward okay so this is about range okay so how do you have the interquartile range okay so interquartile range okay you need to remember this interquartile range is the quartile okay but this one I will um, discuss again in the previous are uh, in the video 
uh, the other video. Okay, so this is all about range. Thank you.